Alright, Shalom, Shalom, Kala, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, Rokal, Kadash. Alright, this is Brother Shamak. Alright, and I just want to, uh, I want to first talk about glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, Rokal, Kadash. And double honors, is, uh, and greetings, with double honors to the apostles and elders that are set up to oversee this tabernacle of David, and that do rule well, and that endure sound doctrine. Alright, and humble salutation and greetings to the brother that's put, and Akim that's pushing his truth. In sincerity, all right, and doing the work of the Lord, all right, and I just want to uh, <laughs> it just came to my uh to my head about the uh this video that brother Yakuwa did on uh this mark of the beast soon soonly uh becoming or um yeah the mark of the beast um coming into and coming into place, all right, it's gonna be coming to full effect very soon, but this damn two third club kid kid boo. Some like y like Yakwa said, some damn uh de degenerate rapper. Um, alright. And I had a comment uh first round draft pick, man. First round first round draft pick at that two thirds club, man. At that nuclear missile destruction, man. Alright. Two first round draft pick, man. Cause y'all they cause basically, man, the two thirds, man, they basically even even the uh we yeah, had the basic two thirds, man. They basically, basically, uh, hate the Most High, hate Yahweh by Shimi Yahweh Shah. All right, let me get that picture. What is that? It's like pie chart. See, the pie chart right here. It's like pie chart of salvation and destruction. See, salvation is that one third, that thirty three point three percent, according to Zechariah thirteen and eight. Then you go to Zechariah thirteen. I mean, yeah, according to Zechariah, yeah, Zechariah thirteen and eight, for the one third and two thirds. Zechariah thirteen and eight and nine. All right, and the destruction is for the two thirds of Israel. All right, so that that go, you're going to be destroyed along with the heathen, or along with the uh, with the most other nations, non-Israelite nations. All right, that pie chart is beautiful, man, and we we all fighting for that for that uh for ultimately the elect. The one third is going to be full of women and children. All right, we fighting for the elect, one hundred forty four thousand. All right. But on this two thirty club, man, <laughs> I just had to get on the one time, man. Two thirty club, dog. First round draft picks. Let first Ezra. Let me see if I want. This is second Ezra's. Yeah, cause man, this they despise the law, man. This was exactly what it, all right. Second Ezra chapter seven, verse twenty four. But his law have they despised and denied his covenants and his statutes have they not been faithful and have not performed his works. All right. See, everybody talking about God first. I love God. God is good. Oh, man, come on, bro. You, you don't, bro, you just false claiming. You feel me? I, we, we, that, the, um, the man of the Lord, man, we hate we hear that, man. False claiming, man. You living, you using the, uh, using the, you can, I can't even say the Lord's name because y'all don't even know the name. But using, using, uh, the gospel in vain, really. Because y'all don't know what y'all even talking about. You don't even truly believe. You not you have been faithful. You ain't performed no works, cause you despise the law. And with that, uh, hold on, let me get that. Since you don't, since you don't, uh, take heed to the law. Oh, my so so lucky. It's Proverbs. You go to praying. I'm gonna pray for you. Oh, uh, you know how they always say that about us, cause they talking about they gonna I'm gonna pray for you and all that. All right, we're gonna see about all that. Proverbs twenty eight nine. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. See, even your prayer is hated by the Most High, man, because you turned your back. You turned your back on the Most High when you had a chance to repent. Some people that 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 willfully, uh, let me get that in Hebrews. Some people don't know, you know what I'm saying? Some actually had a zeal, but not according to the knowledge, all right? But but one, but y'all, but y'all that 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 ignorantly uh know that that truly already know you Israelites and not truly taking heed to the word, man, you hate the most high. You ultimately hate the most high and the and the men of the Lord, man. Or whoever trying to take heed to the truth, all right. So this Hebrews 10 and 20 says, because you don't believe. You don't have faith. And, the, and this book is actually for you, for the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. But you want to be part of the two third club. And it and is and it probably is predestined. It is predestined, you know. So I mean, you can't fight that. You know, it's all, it's all, it's all, it's all under the glory and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. 
But I'm going to get to Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26. For if we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth. So we out there, when we out there pushing the truth on the highways and byways, on the, on the, on the through the media and the internet, you receive that knowledge of the truth. But you what? You sin willfully, man. You don't care. There remain no more sacrifice for sin. There's no more sacrifice for you, man. It's no more sacrifice, sacrifice all right? Just, you just got your two-third club lot. Let me get that. Because uh, you neglected. Let me get that. Hebrews 2. I think Hebrews 2 and 3. You neglect. Yeah, this is what we're trying to escape. We up here trying to escape, and you're neglecting the great salvation, man. Salvation only given to the, only for the Israelites. It's only for you, but you want to you wanna share it with the heathen or <clears throat> do all this nonsense, man. Hebrews 2 and 3, man. How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? See, that's what that's what the two thirds club do, man. They 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 neglect it. You know what I'm saying? They talk, they talk, they neglect the book, man. Neglect the truth, neglect the facts, neglect the prophecies, neglect the faith. Period, which at the first began to be spoken by the by by the Lord, and was confirmed unto us by them that heard Him. See, this truth is confirmed. It's confirmed through the prophets, man. That took heed. To you, how about you? How was And back into that belief, cause you don't believe. Y'all don't believe, man. It's going down, man. Look, see y'all. Look, sin with. Look, this is the priest of John six sixteen and nine, of sin because they believe not on me. Y'all just don't believe, bro. Y'all just lost, man. Lost spirits, man. Destroyed. And it was it was meant for you to be destroyed. Ain't no emotions in this, man. That could be family, friends. You feel me? I think, I want, I think that's how much I want to think. Because this gospel is hid, man. They hate what they can't understand. That's what that is, man. You simple ones, man. Y'all love simplicity. Y'all hate what y'all can't understand. So y'all mock and try to laugh it off. No, nah, man. <laughs> Ain't no time for games. Ain't no time for games now. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. See, they are lost, man. This gospel, man, these deep mysteries of the kingdom... That the elect can bring out. Alright. It's head to the two-thirds club, man. He said, verse 4. In whom the God of this world have blinded the eyes of them which believe not. See, y'all yeah, ain't believe, man. But if you truly humble down and try to take heed, man, he revealed the secrets unto you. But since you want to uh, sin willfully and, and neglect the great salvation, man, he going to blind you. He going to blind your mind, your heart. All right, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach, who is the image of of God, who is Yahweh, all right, should shine, should should shine, should shine unto them. All right, let we let our light shine, man, through our works. Verse five: For we preach not ourselves, but Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? Our power, man, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and ourselves, your servants, for Yahweh Shah's sake. See this this is all this is not for us, man. We don't do this for ourselves, man. We do this for the Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. No ifs, ands, or buts, man. No excuses. Alright. Like like Brother Yaquav said, uh, you either you either did it or you're not, man. You either did it. No excuses, man. He not gonna care about all that excuses or whatnot. All that lukewarm, uh lukewarm bull that you gonna feed, try to uh give uh to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. You either did it or you're not. Did you do the works or not? All right. <laughs> uh, verse 6. For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness. See, we've been shining out of darkness through the power of him, man. Have shined in our hearts to get the light of the knowledge of, of the glory of God in the, in the face of Yahweh Shah All right. Verse 7. Let me get... Uh... I think more on that blinded. Let me get out there. I think six and ten. Alright. He says Isaiah. Isaiah um two third club. Isaiah chapter six verse ten. Make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes. Lest they see with their eyes. See, you gonna shut their eyes, man. They can't see. They they hate what they can't understand, man. They can't see what we see. Like, y'all go out there the video on that, man. They can't see what we see, man. It's very spiritual. This thing is very spiritual of ours, all right? And hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. See, they don't want to be... But the two-thirds club, man, they don't want to convert and be healed, all right? They're not seeking that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding through the Rakar Kadash. 
right. First round draft picks, man. <laughs> the nuclear missiles for y'all, man. And you just, sometimes you got to avoid these two thirds clubs, man. I know we're in captivity, so we're around us so much. Man, sometimes you got to avoid, man. Take time out your, take time for yourself, man, to grow in the spirit. This is Proverbs 13 and 20. That's why I say this. He that walketh with the wise men shall be wise. And who are the wise men, man? The people that have the faith, man. The, the brother, the Akim that have the faith in they have the faith in the works in this truth, man. And they have the zeal for the gospel, man. But a companion of fools shall be destroyed. See, that's being no two-thirds club, man. These destroyed spirits, these simple spirits, man. Worried about the cares of this world, the riches of this world. All right, man, that stuff is temporary, man. That companions of fools, man. That stuff is foolish to the most high, man. Proverbs. Let me get Proverbs. Yeah, yes. And then sometimes you can't even, don't even waste your words with them, man. It's because you, because we understand when you season in truth, man, when you've been in it for a little minute, you understand, they, you can, you just let your words be few, all right? You understand that it's not meant for them. It could be not meant for them, all right? That's just, how, that's just, how, that's just what it is, all right? You could peep their spirit. Proverbs 23 and 9, speak not in the ears of a fool, for for he will despise the wisdom of thy words. Because that's when they go, that's when they mocking and scoffing going to, man. They start laughing at the prophets, mocking. They probably, they probably won't mock you in your face, or they'll mock you behind your back. You feel me? People are foolish, man. Our people were truly foolish, man. You got all the truth, man. You got all these. You living under the rock, man. You don't know what's going on. Jeremiah 4, 4 and 22. For my people, for my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children, and they have none understanding. They they are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. See, they know how to do all this finessing and all this. They know everything. They know everything. The two thirds club know everything but the gospel. They know everything but the truth. All right. This is man. This is. Let me get uh, Jude. This is about Revelations. Man, it's two thirds club, boy. I got to get on him one time, man. Cause he, cause y'all called that video on the market on the, a kid boot taking the market of beast, man. You basically, and that's basically, uh, you there, that's just going to hating your house, bossing your shot. That heathen spirit, they, the heathen ultimately hate it. That's just, that's just natural for them. But for us, man, it's just, you, we on y'all even harder because it's supposed, it's supposed to be for y'all. But it's predestined, and it's, and it has, and the two third club has to happen, and the one third club has to happen, and, it, and the elect has to, uh, happen, man. It all, it all has to be made manifest. All right. This is Jude chapter 1, verse 18. How that they told you there should be mockers in the last time who should walk after their own ungodly lust. See, that own, that's the, and that's what Kid Boot did. He walking out his, after his own ungodly lust. Talking about uh, paradism or whatever. <laughs> this man tripping, man. And mockers in the last time, man. When they scoffing and mocking you, man, just, just, just embrace that, man. Be cheerful about that, man. Because that's what's supposed to happen. Because they walking after their own godly lust, man. The cares and riches of this world. All right? Whatever that may be. And why they doing all that scoffing? Let me get that in Luke. Let's go along with Psalms 2 and 4 too. Because you're all going to be laughing at them, man. Let me get... Oh, I'm missing. I want Luke in 6 and 25. I'm just trying to highlight. It's already highlighted. Luke, Luke chapter 6 verse 25 Woe unto you that are full For ye shall hunger Woe unto you that laugh now For ye shall mourn and weep See you living all good and dandy now But when that when that famine and, it, and these plagues Come on, on, on Babylon the Great Man you gonna hunger man You gonna, you gonna wonder what to do then But you, you definitely gonna take that chip So you can survive a little more A little more longer <laughs> That you, you think that they think this life really going forever, bro. That's crazy. That is really crazy. It says, Whoa, see destruction unto you that laugh now. All that scuffing and mocking. Yeah, keep on laughing. Why yeah, you think it's a, you think it's a game. For ye shall mourn and weep. Alright. You think you really think it's a game, man. And let me get that. It's a proper scripture in second Israel. Unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. I love that. That's a that's a powerful that's a powerful precept. Uh 
Let me get this because it's, it's going to that two third club. It says fear. It says fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. See, don't be troubled by these two thirds club, man. Just, just stay faithful until you hold about shaming of a shot. All right. Verse four: For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Cause our unfaithful servant, even man, this is this is this is the definition of this two thirds club, man. All right, verse five. Behold, save Yahweh, I will bring plagues unto, upon the world. See these destructions coming, all right, in different forms. All right, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. See that nuclear destruction, man. That death and that, that martial law, that famine, that martial law. All right, the sword, man. He's going. This is ultimately judgment from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. And he, he told you the reason why. Verse six: For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Because y'all walking y'all after y'all own ungodly lust, man. Y'all despise the law. Y'all despise the, the true gospel. He's saying their hurtful works are fulfilled. See? Y'all fulfilled y'all y'all fulfilled y'all a lot, man. <laughs> That's what y'all did, man. Y'all fulfilled y'all a lot. Y'all hurtful y'all hurtful works. We don't feel bad for you, man. You know you man, forget all that. Trying to escape, man. Y'all here hold y'all start two third don't let the two thirds club hold you back, man. Avoid them. Alright. Cause they choosing they choosing darkness rather than light. John verse three John chapter three verse nineteen. In this in this condemnation that light is coming to the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. See that works are evil, man. They don't they ain't trying they ain't trying to hear that. They are not trying. These two thirds clubs are not trying to hear this truth, man. <laughs> don't even waste your time. Don't even waste your time, man. Sometimes you got to speak to the wind. All right, when you out there, when you out there speaking that truth, man. Sometimes you talk to yourself. All right. Let me get one more scripture. I just had to get on these two thirds club one time, man. Get tired of all this. God's first. God loves everybody. All that man, all that simple, all that simple emotional, emotional uh, philosophy and principalities, man. God, God is all, is all love, man. God is love. All right, only for the Black, Spanish, Native Americans. All right, for the one third and the elect. All right, that's who, we, that's who we want. That's who we seek. You trying to wake up the elect, man? All the two thirds, man, y'all. Y'all just go fulfill y'all a lot, man, with y'all hurtful works, man, y'all evil deeds, all right? And we're not esteeming ourselves above anybody. We just, we just, we have faith, man. We have faith that we are part of that one third and that we, we have hope because we saved by hope, Romans 8 and 24, all right? But let me get through to Romans 7 and 10. And repay of them that hate him to their face and to destroy them, he will not, he will not be slack to him that hate of him. See, he's not gonna show no slack, man. You gonna he gonna you gonna get what you deserve, man. All right, talking to all that two thirds club, man. Y'all first round draft picks, second round draft picks, third round. <laughs> he will repay him to his face. I don't see how this word don't man. Y'all don't put it this this word don't put no fear in y'all, man. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. And then, and then the reason for the it's because of this uh. Kid boot man, this was spark to get on this two third club man. But we also excited because it's prophecy fulfilling with that chip man, the karagma and stigma that Yakuwa went into man, the etymology ain't no way around that etymology man. Stop being simple man, that's not the mark. The it's chips and cars, it's chips and cell phones man. Y'all so simple y'all. All right bro, you might be the two third club. You ain't, if you're not teaching this, if you're not teaching the RFID chip. Microchip, all right. Being a market of beast, man, you 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 deep down inside, you thinking about you meditating on taking that chip, all right. You meditating on taking that chip. You may be it may be some simple Jakes out there or Israelites out there. They be like, I could repent after I take the chip. Nah, hell no. Nah. You know, Reve according to Revelation fourteen and nine, you take that chip, man. You getting that nuclear missile to you, man. You just signed. You just signed your contract. All right, man. That's a, I ain't want it. That's all I wanted though, man. But uh, that's all I want to touch on, man. Cause that that just goes into that hate, because of that hate, man. Two thirds club hate you, how about you, y'all shy in the men of the Lord, all right. 
But yeah, man, this brother Shamak, man. Give our glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Avoid these two thirds clubs, man. Endure. Hold fast and sound doctrine. And yeah, Shalom, man. Shalom.